Hey guys, maybe you're one of the one in three who's affected by chronic allergies. You know, the runny nose, the itchy burning eyes, the stuffed up, the post nasal drip. Uh, well, I have a couple of solutions for you, both short term and long term. Uh, for those of you guys that missed the allergy workshop, I'm going to kind of give you a, a little recap of that. So that way, uh, perhaps you can look into, rather than just the traditional medical route, uh, looking at doing something naturally when it comes to defeating your allergies. So, as we know, like I mentioned, one in three people suffers with chronic allergies. And most of the time, what they're going to do is turn to uh, the pharmaceuticals, right? And so it, it might be antihistamines, right? It might be decongestants, and it might even be steroids. And we know that whether it's, you know, increase in blood pressure with the decongestants, the drowsiness from the antihistamines, and the steroids, we all know that steroids are great for your immune system, right? Yeah, not really, right? And so most people you know, they try to avoid the medications when it's at all possible. I'm going to give you some things that you can do. So for the immediate short term, as we're into allergy season right now, I'd recommend a couple of things. The first one, uh, of course, is removing uh, the, the, the interference to your body's central nervous system. So your brain, your spinal cord, those nerves that exit out, right, they go to every organ, every tissue, every gland in your body. And so uh, by making sure that you're well adjusted, that you're well aligned, making sure that that head is over the shoulders, right, Oftentimes, uh, when we have a runny nose or post nasal drip, we'll get on that double pillow, right? And it just pushes our head even more forward. That further misaligns those top couple of bones, uh, which decrease the communication between your brain and the glands of your face and those mucous membranes. So that'd be the first thing. Make sure you're well adjusted. Number two, there's some specific exercises that you can do to reduce that interference to the nervous system and keeping this whole area moving properly. Uh, they're on the website, wellnesskeychiro.com, uh, patient resources and spinal exercises. Uh, but uh, ultimately, the two basic ones are lying in your bed face down with your head rotated, lift it up, rotate it back, come back down. I'd recommend doing that 10 times on each side. So you're rotating your head, face down in bed with your palms facing towards the, the, the bed. And this is just gonna get some motion in there. It's gonna help with some of that lymphatic drainage. Uh, next exercise that I'd recommend doing is again, laying on the floor on your, on your bed on your side, and then against gravity, lifting your head up off the floor and back down and against the floor. Again, using those muscles as a pump we're going to start that lymphatic drainage, start that flow. It's going to get things uh, coming down. Another uh, technique that I found to be very successful is the tapping technique, right? And so that might be tapping the frontal sinuses for about 30 seconds, followed uh, by the, the sinuses right here, the nasal sinuses right in the front right here. Again, another 30 seconds. And then massaging these muscles in the front of the neck. And that's gonna help, again, get that stuff flowing, get that stuff out of there, it doesn't become stagnant, and you don't end up with a sinus infection. So, uh, again, a couple of quick tips. The next one, again, the short-term relief uh, for these allergy type, type symptoms uh, would be a neti pot, right? And so, it looks uh, like a tea kettle, but you actually pour it in one side of your nose and it kind of drips out the other side. Again, kind of flush out the nasal cavity. Uh, here's a pro tip. I often find that kind of leaves things even a little bit more sensitive. Yeah, it gets the bad stuff out, but leaves things sensitive. I actually like to put a little bit of coconut oil, uh, oil up into my nose. And that also kind of protects the lining uh, uh, and, and the, uh, the membranes of my nose. An excellent way. Again, uh, inexpensive, very easy. Uh, another one, instead of the nasal decongestants, you may want to look into things like essential oils. And so this may be like a peppermint or eucalyptus. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've even seen tea tree oil, other different oils. You find out which one works for you. Kind of has that opening effect. I find it to be very helpful. For the itchy ears, I found uh, really helpful to use a little bit of tea tree oil. And so uh, this is an oil where, you know, a small amount does a, a great deal of good. So I'd recommend with the tea tree oil, wetting a Q-tip, uh, putting just a drop on there and then kind of going around the ear, a little bit in the canal, not too deep into the canal, and then rubbing it around. Again, if you want to rub down, again, force kind of the gravity to fit in that flow, you'll kind of notice that your ears drain a little bit easier after that as well. So uh, what else can we do? Well, uh, local raw honey. So if you're having a, a big deal, maybe some post nasal drip, maybe some of that cough that goes along with that, some local raw honey, right? Uh, apple cider vinegar. Man, I know it. I know people, they either love it or hate it. Uh, just do it, right? And so uh, what do I recommend taking? About an, uh, a shot, maybe two throughout the day. It, again, probiotics is gonna, I'm gonna know, I noticed that it really helps with that drainage and that itchy, scratchy throat. 
Uh, I'm a huge fan of hot peppers. That's another great one, whether it be jalapeno, you name it, your hot spicy pepper, boom. That, you put that some extra stuff on your food, an excellent, uh, an excellent way to, again, get things and the mucus flowing. And then I always love an enzyme or green drink, right? And so you'll see me walking around the office with an enzyme or a green drink. Uh, this just kind of helps break down the mucus. And I realize that I, I have much less symptoms the next day, especially if I've been playing out in the grass the day before. And I just, I know I've been exposed to a lot of, of the allergens. I want to make sure that my body can break down the mucus, break it down so that I don't, I don't uh, have to suffer with those symptoms uh, the next uh, day. So those are some short term natural relief things. What can we do long term, right? And so if you're a person who's maybe been suffering for, you know, most of your life, right, with allergies, then I would highly recommend regular uh, corrective care chiropractic, right? This is going to continually optimize your body's ability to communicate with the organs, with the, with the body, to make sure your immune system is regulated. Again, your nervous system regulates your immune system. So that way we're not like hyper or overstimulated uh, by, you know, the allergens uh, that are out there kind of this time of year. Increasing vitamin D, or at least let's just say optimizing your vitamin D, right? So next time you have your blood test, ask for the vitamin D. I always recommend it between 55 and 75 uh, for your vitamin D levels, right? Uh, so again, that, that, that really helps support a, a normal functioning immune system. Uh, and then sealing the gut. So we know that a lot of the, aller, uh, the allergens and, and allergies that people suffer with is, is because their bodies it's having an abnormal response to a normal uh, thing that's out in the environment, right? And so whether it be strawberries for your kids or ragweed or whatever, uh, that's why the allergy tests often uh, sometimes uh, reduce the sensitivity. What I found is if you can seal the gut with a bone broth, right? Uh, elimination diet and then bone broth helps seal the gut. You'll find after sometimes four, six weeks that you're able to consume uh, and, and you'll have far less severe of those allergies uh, to that particular thing. And then, of course, I would always say, uh, you know, repopulate the gut with the probiotics. And so oftentimes, most of us have had rounds of antibiotics in our life. And so if you've depopulated the, the, your entire healthy bacteria uh, in your body, it's time to repopulate it. So apple cider vinegar is a great one. Fermented foods. Certainly you can purchase, uh, you know, uh, some store-bought probiotics. And I would recommend that right after... Um, right after the, the antibiotics, and then certainly during the allergy season. And then say no to GMOs, right? It's not real food, right? And so we want to make sure that we're saying no to GMOs uh, really uh, as, a, as a lifestyle choice. So I'm Dr. Joe Utash. I hope, to, I hope this helps. If you have any other great solutions, remedies that you guys have, uh, natural remedies that you've done in your house to help uh, the kids or help yourself with allergies, uh, write in the comments below. I uh, hope to see it for your next adjustment this week.